Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrex from SmartHerd. Welcome to your Make Your Android Application Part 10 and this is the continuation of multiple screen support in Android. So in this video, we will design our layout of portrait mode in our application Android interview. So in our Eclipse, we had a default layout front page.xml. Now what we are gonna do, we have to add four more folders for the portrait mode. So for that, just right click on the resource folder, go to new, create new folder, just name it as layout small. Then similarly layout normal, layout large and layout x large. Now here I have already created layout large, layout normal, layout small and layout x large. Four extra folders I have created. Now what we are gonna do before copy and pasting this front page.xml into this folder first I have to do something inside the front page.xml code. Now here our codes are totally fine. Our graphics is also totally fine but we have left one thing. We just have to add one thing. We have to assign the ID to our parent layout plus ID just write front page underscore layout right this was the stuff that I missed out while creating the relative layout now now what is the importance of assigning this ID to the relative layout now as you can see at the top of this layout here you can see a title bar this title bar is a default title bar and we are going to convert it into our own custom title bar so for that we have to assign an ID to our parent layout that I will show you in the upcoming tutorials now our codes of relative layout is totally ready and our graphics is also ready. Now what we have to do, we just have to copy and paste this front page.xml without making any changes inside the xml file and just simply paste it inside these four folders. Just copy it, control V, paste it, control V, again control V, similarly control V, right? Now we have copied and pasted all these stuffs, this XML file into all four folders, fine. Now just click open this layout large file. Now here automatically earlier our front page.xml was showing Nexus 1 and it was actually 3.7 inch but as soon as we open this front page.xml of the layout large folder, it is showing the layout for 5.1 inch screen. So we just have to modify the layout width and layout height and the text size of the button inside our layout. So, so while modifying the changes in the graphical layout, you just have to take care of one thing. You should never modify the ID of any button and rest of the thing you can modify as per your wish. The ID should be constant. So what we are gonna do, we are just going to modify the layout width and layout height of all these buttons present in the graphical layout of 5.1 inch screen or you can say the XML file of the large devices, right? So let us do one thing, let us change it to let's say 375 dp, height equal to 70 dp and the text size I suggest let's say 35 dp, 35 sp, sorry. Now go to the graphical layout, yes our button is looking quite awesome, maybe it is looking quite wide but you can modify it, it is not necessary whatever dimension I have given you should give this dimension only, it is totally up to your choice what dimension you want to give to this button, only thing you have to take care of never change the id of any button or any layout right. Now similarly here also, now I have changed the width and height and text size of all the buttons. Now let's go to the graphical layout. Our buttons are looking quite prominent. Now let us do one thing. Let us simply drag and move our button so as to make it more attractive. Fine in the 5.1 inch screen it is look quite similar to what we are watching here. Right now save your XML file. Now just open the layout small front page.xml. Now go to generic and change it to 2.7 inch. Now in the 2.7 inch screen it is looking quite odd our last button is not visible so you just have to do one thing. Go to the front page.xml and modify the width and height again as per your requirement. Now at the right hand side of the screen you can see what dimensions I am going to specify 
so modify the width and height accordingly and also modify the text size now successfully I have modified the width to 175 dp and height to 40 dp and I have removed the text size and changed it to the default value of the text size just save your XML file go to the graphical layout now do one thing just move your button and align it correctly right now in the 2.7 inch screen or you can say 3.2 inch screen your application is going to look quite similar as you can see in front of you let us now design the layout of the tablets now automatically you can see how your application is going to look in the 10.1 inch tablet is it is looking quite odd you can watch out your buttons are very very smaller compared to the screen size so so what you're going to do simply modify the width and height of the buttons here also and also modify the text size right now here at the right hand side of the screen I have shown you what dimension I have taken here now let us rearrange our buttons one by one move the rate app at the downside now guys it is not at all recommended that you use a simple layout in case of tablets you should always use fragments in case of tablets that I'm going to teach you in the upcoming tutorials so as a beginner just learn how to design how you can design UI for multiple screen and devices right now in the 10.1 in screen tablet it is going to look like this now save it now let us do one thing this tab is showing x large slash front page dot xml that is 10.1 inch tablet right now just drop down the list go to generic and select 5.1 inch now you can see automatically the tab has been switched over to large dash front page dot xml now this implies if you run your application in any of the screen size suppose you run your application in 5.1 inch screen then you don't have to specify hey device please draw our layout from the layout large folder it automatically draws your layout from the layout large folder and display the user so user will be able to see neat and clean user interface he will probably think that you have designed this application specifically for his device only so he will enjoy using your application right again drop down the list go to 3.7 inch whatever suppose 4. Point. when we open the 4.0 inch then it automatically goes to what normal slash front page dot xml now our normal device screen size range from 3.7 to 4.2 inch so for the normal one so for our 4.0 screen inch it will look quite similar to what it was looking in the 3.7 inch screen so this tutorial was all about how you can design your application layout for the portrait mode in the next video I'm going to show you how you can design your layout for the landscape mode so hope you guys something got out of it if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video this is Shrakes from SmartHerd signing off and we'll catch you guys in next tutorial see ya thank you and have a good day